Hey guys, it's Jaden, and it's Sunday here at Life of T-Man. Um, this week's topic is relationships and dating, and back when this topic was first, you know, the list was put out, I was hoping I'd be able to do that with my girlfriend, but, you know, relationships end. Um, so, um, I guess I'll just talk about my experiences with relationship and dating, and kind of how now, and like how relationships and dating work, um, because there's a lot of ins and outs, and I think there's other videos where we talk about things that have to do with relationships and dating. Um, sorry about this, I was at a arts and social justice retreat all day, did lots of art, talked about activism, um, trust things, it was a good day today. So, um, Relationships and dating can be a little bit rough as a trans person. Um, a lot of people don't want to date trans people for whatever reason. They kind of other us or fetishize us. This is something that is a problem. Um, if you are like a trans man, this is a trans male channel mostly, you know. So, um, gay men or um, bi men or like, you know, people who um, aren't like, I don't know, because a lot of times people who are pansexual, just like, they'll see us as people, that it's our sex, uh, that we identify with, the sex that we are, and we're just not assigned at birth. Um, so, that's a problem, um, and this can be rough, um, I, you know, encountered it a lot, I feel like, whatever, oh, that is, um, and this can be really invalidating. Also, a lot of times lesbians uh, demasculate uh, by being like, oh, but you're like the exception, but it's only because of what's in our pan. Sometimes, um, we already did a topic on this, or if we haven't, we will. Lesbians and trans men and all that. Um, so as a recently out bisexual trans man, okay, I'm not 100% out, but like partially out. I don't know. Um, I don't have any dating experience with men, per se, um, I've only ever dated women, and there's been a lot of women who have invalidated, uh, my masculinity, um, uh, there was a while where I was, like, I was a lesbian, but a lot of the time it just kind of moved on, I was like, I'm a guy, and I'm like, okay, but at the same time, a lot of girls won't date me, specifically because I'm trans, which kind of, even from the beginning, brings our whole relationship to sex. And that's a little early to be bringing it about sex. I mean, I don't know. And there's people who fetishize us, who make us like, oh, I date women and trans men. But it's just like, I know there's some trust issues with, like, men, but, like, we are men. We may have been uh, raised socially different, but we're men. A lot of us act basically 100% like cis men. Um, so, like... It sucks, and, like, when is the right time to tell someone, or, like, if you're dating them, that you're trans, because it is an important issue, uh, at, uh, especially at different parts of trans, uh, different parts of transitioning, um, because it can be kind of awkward, um, or dangerous, even, it gets dangerous, I mean, you are getting hot and heavy or whatever, and, because, you know, unless sex isn't part of your relationship, sex is part of a lot of relationships, and that's fine, but, like, you want to start getting hot and heavy, and then, ooh, the, like, touching gets weird, and you're like, well, I don't have top surgery or bottom surgery, and this is weird, and there's only so much you can hide, I guess, um, which is rough, but... Um, if someone is you're seeing as potentially dating, um, it depends on how far you're in transition. Uh, make sure that they would validate you and, like, talk to them about trans issues as if you're not trans. Especially if you're, like, li like in transition and you're, like, look like a guy, sound like a guy, you know, you've got pretty good passing privilege. Um, you just gotta, I would, I personally would be like, oh, try to figure out their thing on trans issues. On all my dating sites, I'm not as transgender um, as a trans man, because I am, I identify not as a trans man, but as a man, uh, being trans is part of, um, my upbringing and kind of my background identity, 
and definitely part of things that I am actively supporting in my life, but um, as a man, I identify as a man, just a man, not a, not FTM, but M, if you understand what I'm saying. So, um, until someone, like, becomes an actual interest on the dating sites, I haven't had no one far enough um, where I can just tell them yet, be like, oh, well, just to let you know, <laughs> don't have a penis, if that's a problem. Um, and it shouldn't, those who matter, it shouldn't change their minds, but never out yourself in a dangerous situation. Never try and do it in private, um, stay in open public places, uh, some people do it over text, don't let them know where you live, there's some really, there's some, really some hard precautions, especially in the adult dating life, and I'm kind of like, I lost a lot of my dating experience in high school by being with the same person with so, for so long, so I don't really under, understand high school relationships all too much anymore. And I'm just getting back on the wheels of dating, which is what makes this a really poor time for me to be talking about this. Because I have, like, so little experience, especially, um, post-transition, or at least in my transition, because I'm not, like, I'm within transition. So, find people, find good people, I mean same beliefs as you. It's kind of dating as, even dating as a cis person. You just, people who have the same beliefs as you and aren't going to, you know, be problematic. Um, make sure they're okay with trans people and the, LG, L, the LGB community and the trans community and all the other letters in the community. Are they a good person? And are you safe with them? And this is something you should figure out before the relationship gets too serious because you can just go on dates with people and never have to talk to them again. But also, it can get serious. And it's just really important to be safe in this day and age, which is really sad that we're still having to say, oh, you have to be safe because you can get, I mean, you can get attacked, you can get stalked, you, you can get outed. They could out you. It is so bad to pick and choose wisely. There's people where they break up with their significant other and then they are outed, and that is so horrible and sad. You can get killed. It gets that extreme. You can be raped. It's be safe, and it's such a hard topic to talk about. And I really wish I had more experience than I do. And this video is really long for someone with a lack of experience, but I don't know. I hope what I said helped you, or like it, like like at least gave you some things to think about. Um, within your dating lives, um, in relationships, um, anyone who's not going to validate you or, um, treat you with respect in any aspect of your identity, whether it be the fact that you are trans or the fact that you like Mario Kart, like, the person should respect you, to them, like, at least respect you, not just, no tolerating. Tolerating is not actually a good thing, it just means, like, they don't like it, they're just going to ignore it, they're just like, oh, it's there, but I'm not going to. So, yeah. So, I love y'all. This video is super long. I'm gonna do Bye.